At Regen Impact Media, we believe it is the stories we choose to tell now that will define our future. So we're putting storytelling into the hands of those working to transform our future with intention and impact. Regen proudly introduces our first group of regenerative filmmakers, six outstanding individuals who inspire the world to join them on their quest for a better future. Echo Alec, a champion of the earth who has used her calling as an artist to inspire people to sing and dance their way back to the natural rhythms of nature. Echo's first regenerative project is Legacy of the Land, a multimedia interwoven web series, learning platform, and ebook that follows the journey of two Indigenous elders and the intergenerational journey of trauma and healing of the land and people. My vision of Legacy of the Land is that it weaves these beautiful medicine teachings while honoring the stories that both of my elders have been through. They have been through residential school, they have been through war, they have been through addiction, they have been through watching their loved ones pass away at every angle. And simultaneously, they both hold these medicine teachings that they are giving out to community, that they are offering out. And those teachings reconnect us back to the land, which is what the entire world needs right now. Sammy Bass, a warrior of truth whose explorations of our ancestral roots have journeyed people from ego narratives into their deepest revelations of story and self. Sammy's first regenerative project is The Mentor, a psychological thriller that follows Sophie, a young woman who's just graduated from a rehabilitation program for CPTSD survivors and is trying to reassimilate into society. And I really wanted to explore what it's like to not be able to trust your mind. Like what happens when a memory is just shot out of nowhere and you're in a place where you have to hold it together. And what does that look like and feel like? And what is that experience like? And how, how do people hold it together uh, when they can't trust their mind in that way, when they don't feel safe in their thought patterns? Catherine Eaton a priestess of divine potential whose films, songs, and research have revealed and inspired the specific genius in everyone she meets. Catherine's first regenerative project is a psychosexual thriller called The Control Room. In this film, a journalist returns to her hometown in Idaho after the death of a friend, only to find herself embroiled with a mysterious young couple at a local nuclear facility. And the one thing that I like to say about it uh, that we can promise you is that it will leave you panting. <laughs> the question that keeps coming back to me when I think about working on the control room is, can we find freedom by going further into what binds us? I would love for the film to explore that in a way that begins to integrate who we are with where we want to go in our most private selves. Sarah Springer, a sage of wisdom whose ancestral connection roots deep into her stories and activism, sparking hope in those who witness her. Sarah's first regenerative project is a feature film called When Weeds Invade the Land, a fictionalized version of her own experience as the first Black writer-in-resident at Ernest Hemingway's home in Ketchum, Idaho, and the metaphysical journey that occurred there. It's really a story about exploring what it means to be free and what it means to own the spaces we are in. When those spaces have sometimes been taken from us and or uh, if we have been told that we don't belong. Charlene Senjenko, a weaver of community whose outreach and voice activates new circles of caring humans around the globe. Charlene's first regenerative project is a feature film called Nika and the Fire Dancers, in which a disgruntled media executive explores the complexities of interracial adoption, racial ambiguity, blood memory, and identity. We're really exploring the very thin metaphysical veil between time and space, how time spans over decades, and yet does it really? Um, this is a story about 
three characters who are really one character and the complexities that the protagonist walks through. It's my hope that the film expands our understanding or at least ignites our curiosity in terms of who and what are really around us as we explore what this human experience is all about. Naomi McDougall-Jones, a creatrix of innovation who has inspired a generation to think differently through her honesty, insight, voice, and stories. Naomi's first regenerative project is a feature film called Hammond Castle. In this fairy tale for grown-ups, a seven-month pregnant failed actress becomes entangled with the power-hungry ghost of a long-forgotten inventor hell-bent on reclaiming fame. I really hope that this film creates the space for parents, and most specifically mothers, to have a more complex conversation about all that is gained and also lost in the identity transition of becoming a parent. And this is done in the context of a really fun film, so I hope that it is also wildly entertaining and joyful in getting to journey back to this world of 1920s glitterati ghosts. We are thrilled to introduce our first generation of inspiring regenerative filmmakers to launch our model in relational filmmaking. You can visit our website at regenimpactmedia.com to learn more about each of our filmmakers and how you can support them.